coming up on Current OC. Tonight, we take a look at some Halloween costumes and our new wellness center. Plus, we'll have a story on how to prevent ACL injuries, along with the latest weather forecast. These stories and more, it all starts now on the Current OC. TV studios along 6th and Atlantic. Raider Nation's leading news magazine starts now in high definition. This is Current OC. Hello and welcome to the Current OC. I'm Brianna Filippo. And I am Adam Hubby. Welcome to our second edition of this season's Current OC. Thanks for taking the time to make our broadcast a part of your school day. We know how precious time is in our routine schedule, so we want all of our teachers to know how much we appreciate you sharing our program during your classes. And an even bigger thank you to those watching from their homes, watching on the Ocean City and Upper Township access channels, and to those watching us online. Well, as October winds down, we all know that the month's conclusion is marked by one of the most enjoyable holidays, Halloween. Maybe not topping Christmas, but we do know what costumes will be topping the must-wear list this October 31st. The current OC takes a look at what costumes you'll see the most of this Halloween. Every time around this part of the year, Spear Halloween stores are flooded with hopeful customers vying for a chance to grab this season's most popular costumes. Today, the current OC traveled to the Spear Halloween store located in Egg Harbor Township to check out this year's best-selling Halloween outfit. Have you heard of the show Stranger Things? You probably have, seeing as that it's one of the most trending Netflix original shows. And if you've heard of the show, then you must know the character Eleven. One costume that is up for grabs is her famous pink dress. Seeing as that one of the most popular movies that came out of this year was the remake of the Disney classic Beauty and the Beast, it is no surprise that one of the best-selling female costumes of this year is Belle's dress. The movie Hocus Pocus is one of Disney's most popular films. Another person you can impersonate is Sarah Sanderson, one of the leading roles of the movie. You can get her well-known dress and the wig sold separately. We have all heard of the superhero Spider-Man. This time-honored character is always one of the season's most popular characters to impersonate. Within this look, you get the Spider-Man jumpsuit and the mask. With 10 films in the series, the Star Wars movies are world famous. Another costume that has never lost popularity is Darth Vader. Coming with the jumpsuit, boot tops, chest piece, and the belt, this is all you need to leave the dark side. Cartoon Network has been airing their show Rick and Morty since December 2013, arguably one of their most popular shows on the network. It is no surprise that the last costume on our list is Morty. With the Morty mask and the classic yellow t-shirt he wears, you're all ready to go trick-or-treating. Even if you still don't know what you want to be this Halloween, there's still time to get in your car and travel down to Spirit Halloween in Egg Harbor Township and find the costume that is perfect for you. Whatever you decide to be this October 31st, just remember to have fun and have a safe time. This has been Taylor Fusco reporting for The Current OC. Are you stressed out and need to cool off? Want to do homework in a focused environment? Or just want a place to relax? Thanks to our brand new wellness center, you can do just that. Join us on a look at how OCHS is helping our student body put things into the right perspective. On Friday, September 15th, the Wellness Center made its official grand opening to the students of OCHS. We interviewed some of the students and faculty to get a closer insight of what the Wellness Center is really about. The Wellness Center was created by the staff and administration at Ocean City High School with the guidance of Dr. Taylor. It was created for an environment for students to be able to come and de-stress, decompress, unplug, just to have a room that's a little less intimidating and a little more comfortable for them to come. I think it's a really great environment if somebody's having a really stressful day. I think it's really nice that they can come here and just relax and 
do homework or whatever they need to do to feel better. So far, I enjoy it. Um, cupcakes are pretty good. Um, there's coloring books and Tuesdays with Maury. Um, I'll probably be coming back in the future. The district decided to create this room as a way for the students uh, to have a place to go uh, when they needed a break or they were having an issue and someone to talk to. And it's going to be a really great resource for them um, to look at um, you know, agencies or, or people that can help them with uh, in the school and also outside of the school. Um, this was an idea that we talked about at the Board of Education level. Um, we're very lucky that our Board of Education uh, and our Superintendent Dr. Taylor supported it along with the high school administration and we're just so thrilled to have Ms. Geller in here, um, you know, heading up this room. Um, I feel like people can come in here and they can relax and really regroup and feel better about themselves and really like go on with their day with like self-love and confidence. Um, I think the Wellness Center is a great place and a, a really great idea for just students to come to have um, a comfortable, safe spot for them to go if they're like having a, a bad day or something. The Wellness Center is located at D102 and is open to students at all times. This has been Faith Willett reporting for The Current OC. Congratulations to the surf team for placing second in the New Jersey State Championship. Regardless of any recounts, we know you are all true champions. The current OC would like to congratulate them on their winning season. Sports are a huge part of our culture. Athletes are constantly working at honing their craft through exercise and conditioning. Often, regardless of how much we try to prevent injuries, they do indeed occur. One such injury that is significantly damaging is an ACL tear. Our own Bella Wampshire has suffered such an injury and has even undergone surgery. She reports with a personal perspective. ACL injuries are very common among young athletes, but not many people truly understand what an ACL tear is. First of all, ACL stands for anterior crucial ligament. Your ACL is a ligament that connects the thigh bone to the shin bone at the knee. The ACL's purpose is to perform normal knee functions and stability. When you have an ACL injury, the ligament usually tears partially or completely. This can happen by landing on your knee wrong, twisting suddenly, or getting hit from the side of your knee. We spoke with the athletic director, Ms. Kickish, and asked her a few questions on the topic. First, we asked what the ACL's functions were. ACL tear, the ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. It prevents the anterior tibial translation, meaning the tibia sliding forward on the femur. Next, we asked what ways one could fix an ACL tear. ACL tears pretty much need to be fixed by surgery. There's no um, conservative ways to fix them. So you can either do a hamstring graft, a patellar tendon graft, or you can do a cadaver graft, which means you're taking it from a dead person and putting it into your body. Finally, what are ways to prevent ACL tears? You can prevent ACL tears by focusing on working on jump training mechanics and proper squatting mechanics. A patient who has teared their ACL usually collects a lot of braces depending on how severe the injury may be. The following are exercises and stretches that could potentially prevent an ACL tear and also help heal it. Be sure to take care of not only an ACL tear but at any athletic injury. This has been Calista Kuhn, Bella Wamsher, and Emily McHugh reporting for The Current OC. We'll be going on a break at this moment, but don't change the channel. In fact, in the near future, we'll have something new this year. Drama, featuring a mini soap opera, starring our very own high school students. A sneak peek is next. Then stay tuned for more following the break. We'll be right back.
I'm so excited to be a part of the new cast of the current OC and a member of the weather team here. Now looking at our radar, there is small signs of precipitation popping up throughout South Jersey. However, it won't affect Ocean City for the entire day. So get outside when you get a chance and enjoy the beautiful sunny skies. On to our local conditions, it's 64 in Lakehurst, 63 in Trenton, a little bit warmer, 65 in Philadelphia, as well as towards the shore, 65 in Wildwood. These are definitely more of the fall temperatures we should be experiencing in October, and I would start to break out those long sleeves and sweaters as it cools into autumn weather. On to our local conditions, it's 66 here in Ocean City with humidity at 61%, not making it any warmer, and wind speeds at 10.4 miles an hour, brings in a light breeze, cooling it down just a little bit more. Looking ahead, it is going to be a beautiful week with temperatures in the mid-70s. You may need to grab your sweatshirt into the night when it drops into the 50s, but make sure you get out and support the Ocean City Raiders as they take on mainland, as they take on mainland at our homecoming game this Friday. As for the rest of the week, it is going to be not so pretty of a week as there is chances of showers with temperatures in the mid 70s. Not the best week for fall festivities. Thanks for the forecast, Bella. And that will do it for us on this edition of The Current OC. Remember to log on and catch all of our shows and additional content by visiting oc-tv.org. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OCNJTV. So be sure to like our page and follow us there too. And as always, thanks for watching.